So I do have something that will help if you are gardening and you don't want to get dirt under your nails. Yeah. Use a bar of soap. Yeah. Yeah, and scratch the soap so that the soap goes under your nails First. before you do any gardening where you're dealing with soil directly. So there you go. So I've got, I've got now got. Lovely nice white, soap soapy nails. underneath your nails. I can see so where this is going. This when is you really, then yeah. are potting and doing yeah. stuff, then what happens is the you get the dirt underneath the, the nail without, and you get no dirt underneath, and you wash them, and then you just wash the soap out afterwards. Or wear gloves. Or wear gloves <laughs> if you want. But some people like to feel the earth when they're doing the gardening. Okay, see? gotcha. So that's that's, that's very that. Good. So no more dirty nails, right? Um, from you know, me, this I is Keith Lemon's favourite part of the show. Is it really? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he thinks it's fascinating what you can do with bread. <laughs> Brilliant. I love Red Keith friend friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he likes these. Let's, let's look at this. Now, a good way to keep your, your tools uh, is to keep them in sand. The reason for that is that the sand will stop the moisture from getting to the tools and they'll actually stop them from going rusty. You can even put in the yeah. sand a couple of tablespoons of motor oil. It actually helps keep the moisture away. Really? And the very nature of sand is it's abrasive, so it'll also keep them sharp as well. Really, really handy. So make sure you've got dry sand and it will keep the moisture away. No more And rust. it doesn't get into the gubbins of your secateurs. You either. have to just make sure you don't put it below the, that point where right, the working okay. mechanism is. So right, yes? okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, um, milk bottles. We've yes. all got milk bottles bottles that you know you, you, you finish your milk what are you going to do with them why don't you reuse them so first thing you can do get a milk bottle and cut it in half I'll be as quick as I can Molly <laughs> no, don't be really quick because otherwise oh yeah true we'll finish before the end of the show <laughs> okay so how about get a milk bottle cut it in half and use yeah. it to protect your seedling so there you go there's a freshly planted seedling just there use the milk bottle over the top protects it from the elements it also works a bit like a greenhouse so yeah. the, the the light will still get in mm. keeps it nice and warm keeps it protected you do understand that this is a budget show today that we're doing uh, yeah Yes. Because we, we're not doing the tail end of it. Oh, yes. Because of the, the budget. Budgets. Yes, of course. So, so if you finish awesome. early, everyone has to watch the budget for longer. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's eke it out. <laughs> Can uh, you now. keep it going till three o'clock? <laughs> yeah, fine, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. How about this? Use a milk bottle as a, as a watering can. So just in the top of the lid, just poke some holes in the top of the lid, nice and easy. Then you can actually use your milk bottle as a watering can, which is quite handy. That's quite nice for the kids as well. Yeah, the kids would love it. They okay. really would. And how about if you very carefully take some scissors to no your milk bottle? Way. How about this? Look, you can make a handy little trowel just there. Which yeah, is how really good, good is that? It's really good. And it really, obviously it won't work with like rock hard soil, but you just put it in gently and that's it. That's it. Come on. Come on, Holly, come on, like that, there you go, there you go, so there's your little scoop. Do you or... know what that would be good for, cat litter? Uh, it would be good for cat if litter, If you're scooping out cat poo out of the litter tray. Yeah, and then eventually <laughs> throw it away, make another one, You or... can make some holes in it so the litter drops through. Yeah, that'd be nice, or you make one like this, so you make a slightly more sturdy one. That's a scoop. Better. A scoop, there you go. We all like to scoop, don't we, there you go, so there's your little scoop just in there. That's if you've got a dog. <laughs> 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 Love I it. like that one. That's a better it's scooper. Good. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So yeah. there's all the things you could do with milk bottles. Now, I'm going to show you something that you can also do with a bit of cardboard and, yeah. some, and some tin foil. This is to reflect light onto your seedling. I did this a little bit earlier indoors where That's it was nice it. and warm. Here we go. So you get the cardboard, oh, place it on some warm foil. It looks, in there. It it looks, looks so warm. warm in there, I know. It? No wind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> fold it over and you're just basically making a screen, which you then just make a little fold in and place it behind your, your, your little potted plant, ah. put it in the window where the sunlight comes in, and it'll just reflect it. It's it like getting a tan light. in something about Mary. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Loads of things you can do That's with foil. That's good. Now, how about watering your plants using uh, old bottles? So right. this is very straightforward. So it's just basically a way of watering your plants, and you can pop the water in. This is just a, a two-litre plastic bottle with the bottom cut off, and then pour the water in, and it will gradually seep through into the soil. The soil will just take what it needs, so would you do this if you were going away for the weekend or something? Yeah, I would say it's good just to, if you're gardening, do this first and then move on and do other stuff and it will gradually release. You can also use a wine bottle. Great thing about that is you get to drink the wine first, which is wonderful. I've struggled to find an empty bottle. We, we drink so little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. And then you just pop that upside down and it will slowly and gradually release. You can also put things like little glass pebbles, you know, the kinds of things that you can yeah. get in uh, garden centres yeah. to inside, and that will actually regulate the flow even more. That's, That's a good a idea. That's a really good it's idea. Nice, That's like I that. like. Yeah, I like that very much. Gradually, very slowly go into the soil. Uh, now, another way of watering is, is using this. This is ace. So this is a pint glass of water. It's actually gone down a fair bit. This is kitchen roll, mm. rolled into a kind of a sausage shape, put into the water, tucked into the soil there, and then the plant will actually suck the water up through the kitchen roll as much as it needs 
uh, over a period of time, so that is good if you go away. No, 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 it just, it, honestly, it, it travels all the way up and, and it'll you last. you put that in this morning? Uh, yeah. So and it's how used full that was much? That? The, it was up to about sort of the, the bulge in the glass, just about there. Okay. So it's great. It's, obviously, it soaks up through and travels, got, travels yeah, in. Like wet um, now, I'm really pleased to say it's the return of what? the shoe tidy. You're spoiling us. <laughs> what are you goodness? We've got a fanfare it's and everything. It's been used in every yes. single item. Oh, my old friend. Yeah. So this is my vertical herb garden. Yeah. Oh, so you pop your herbs in each one. Look, they're nicely labelled. You can even water them in this, make little oh. holes in the see-through bits, and the water will then drip through and drip onto the plants below. It's Love a it. brilliant idea. It yeah. is a brilliant idea. Do you know what's also a brilliant idea? Is making your own sprinkler okay in the garden so i've got one for you just here make your own sprinkler if you move, move over that a bit back, holly because i this find is... you no, no no come close come close no i'm not no come close no, I, I need to show you come it's here. cold it's so, windy i'm so not this, getting wet this is a plastic bottle yeah hose yeah. pipe attached a bit of tape and some uh, little <laughs> clips on there as well that hose pipe? yeah we're using tape With and then using zip ties honestly it's great okay and then you place that into your into your bed come close because it's it's such a trickle you just do it no, no, go on, look, uh, Charlotte's standing by ready to, to turn it turn on. Turn it on. Go on then, turn it on really See, hard. There you go. There we are, stupid. You think I'm so silly. <laughs> I really <laughs> wanted you to stand here. Are you sure? <laughs> She'd have grumbled all afternoon. I love the fact you're still standing there getting yeah. covered in water. There you go. But that well works done. surprisingly well. It works, well. it does. 